The next motor type is the variable reluctance stepping motor. This motor uses a non-magnetized soft iron rotor. The rotor here actually has teeth that are offset from the stator poles to accomplish rotation. Notice also that the individual stator windings are configured differently than what we have discussed so far. All windings have a common terminal that will be connected to a voltage source. The opposite end of each winding is kept separate from the other windings. To increase the resolution on this type of motor, we simply add more teeth to the geared rotor. So how does this type of motor rotate? Each winding is again energized one at a time to create a polarity on the appropriate stator poles. The rotor then rotates to minimize the reluctance of the magnetic flux path. What happens next differentiates the variable reluctance motor from most other stepping motor types. Notice that to rotate the motor in a particular direction, the stator winding energizing sequence is actually reversed from what you see in permanent magnet motor sequences. Also, note that the motor's step angle is actually half what it is with a permanent magnet motor with the same number of stator windings. 